XRP about to blast off. What I know is I'm putting on my seatbelt and strapping in. In today's video, we're going to break down how the CLO, Chief Legal Officer from Ripple, talks about the case where the SEC gets in trouble for abusing their power. I'm also going to break down how MicroStrategies keep stacking Bitcoin and how Coinbase is in Washington working to normalize and get them on board and understand the radical transformation. Well, they know the radical transformation. They're just trying to hold us back, Main Street, from being part of Wall Street. My name is Coach JB. What I work to do is make very complex macro and microeconomic strategies very simple so the normal everyday person can implement them. We get hundreds of messages. I talk a lot about ensuring my wealth. I'm a licensed agent. I have licensed agents in all 50 states that can help you with a free, absolutely free consultation to understand how we secure our wealth at the bottom of the risk pyramid with this insurance. So in the description down below, you can click the link to set up a free consultation or in the bio in my platform. I also have a free book on the back end of every video. I share with you how I exit the markets and what I do, my diversification strategy. But I, I did a free book for you so you can download that. Put your email in, 24 hours will be in your inbox. So let's dive right into this. So Stuart Aldry, I think I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, this was from March 18th, but I wanted to share my opinion on this and what is actually happening. Now, this is the moment I've been waiting for. One thing that I know is the longer and more patient you can stay in a market, the more patient you can be, the wealthier you're going to become. You don't get wealthy off meme coins and pump and dumps and all that stuff. That's not wealth. That's getting rich. Wealth is very, very different. Get in the markets, stay in the markets, have an exit plan, and diversify into things that you can borrow tax-free to buy more assets. Okay. So Stuart Aldry put, today, a federal court sanctioned the SEC for abusing its unique status to present evidence that was false, mischaracterized, and or misleading. If anyone thinks that this conduct by this agency under this leadership is limited to one case, I have a bridge I want to sell you in Brooklyn. I think about that, guys. This has been going on for a very, very long time. I've explained to you all the connections. Gary Gensler in 2012 was part of creation of the FOMC, Future Oversight Commission, Committee to Regulate Non-Bank Financial Institutions. Jay Clayton initiated the case against Ripple on December 20, 2020. He left to consult for a cryptocurrency firm. Gary Gensler came from the head MIT professor for cryptocurrency to be in charge of the SEC. Okay, and they've carried out this case all the way three years. Wait, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. We're going into four. Is this year four? And ironically, we're going to take a look at this right here. It looks like we're going to start to get pretty close, pretty close around May 6th. So it says court documents filed on March 1st granted the SEC's extension to file the remedies related to discovery materials submitted by Ripple. The extension allows the regulator to file its open brief until March 22nd. The deadline for Ripple's opposition brief has also been extended to April 22nd, two days after the uh, Bitcoin halving. And the new deadline for the SEC to file a reply will be March, or excuse me, May 6, 2024. So you hear this all the time on Twitter when you post anything about XRP or Ripple. It's like, I'm done waiting. I'm done being patient. You have to understand the more patient you are, the wealthier you become. So I'm staying patient. I have an exit strategy. I don't care if it hits in May. I don't care if it hits in September. I have a long-term strategy. If it goes up, I pull profits because I understand the switch in the monetary system. I understand this new wave of energy. I understand that we're heading into a quantum financial system. So I'm not worried about the short-term price action. I'm worried about the long-term fundamental cryptos that are going to appreciate that I can pull large amounts of profit in a short amount of time and short being, it could be a couple of years, guys. Think about that for just what I mean by that is people got into crypto and they got used to this get rich quick. It doesn't, that doesn't, it's not a healthy way to do your investments, right? I got into crypto in 2020 and I've made more money than I would have made as an executive my whole career at the bank. <laughs> Think about that. And from 2020 to 2024, I would have made, I made more money than I would have made as an executive at the bank. 2021, 2022, 2023, and now 2024. Think about that. In four years, what it would have taken me a whole career at the bank to make in my 401k. That's something we really need to digest. 
but that's unnatural. That's not normal. That's why you have to have a diversification strategy. So I want to share you some other stuff here. MicroStrategy acquires additional 9,245 BTC and now holds 214,246 BTC. That was March 19th, 2024. This is getting really, really fun. And I'll leave you guys with this one right here. So the Coinbase CEO on regulation, ETFs, and crypto adoption. So they're out in Washington campaigning, um, trying to get them on board and share with them the, it's not that they, it has nothing to do with them not wanting to be on board. It has to do with the fact that they're not able to benefit from it. That's it. We all know the game, guys. Now that BlackRock's in it, it's like, okay, cool. Now they know that they have to get into it. So it's not if they're going to get into it, it's when they're going to get into it and how they're going to regulate it. Pay attention. The volumes, but I want to give you the chance here because I know you're flying down to DC and hosting a lot of Congress over at a summit that Coinbase is really spearheading, uh, including Cynthia Lummis and Patrick McHenry. How do you see your presence in Washington today, and why is it so important for you and Mark Andreessen to be there? Yeah, well, you're right. We are hosting an event tomorrow uh, called an Update the System event, and we're inviting a bunch of policymakers, members of Congress. And the goal is to talk about all the different use cases of crypto that are emerging. I think there's kind of this trope that's out there, which is that, you know, crypto doesn't have any use case and it really couldn't be farther from the truth. I mean, crypto, first of all, it's a new form of sound money, right? It's a return to uh, almost like a new gold standard that's digital. In this time of high inflation and deficit spending, I think people are really interested in that. Yes. And it's a nice Super check and balance um, that'll help America uh, with any of the issues there. It's also, do you see how they noticed the, the Coinbase CEO brought that up? And then BlackRock CEO said, Hey, Bitcoin is a great thing if you don't trust your government or fiat currency. And there's like, what are you saying? We shouldn't trust our government. He's like, no, I'm not saying that, but he's saying this. They're all saying the same thing, guys. I mean, how many signals, how many hints can you get that we're switching? We're switching our monetary system. And I'm not saying it's happening today. It's not happening tomorrow. It is a slow, gradual switch into an even playing field, a bag of currencies. The I, I don't believe America in the next 10 years is going to be the dominant currency. Digitizing the dollar. It's making payments fast, cheap, and global. It's you know allowing artists to sell directly to their fans. Decentralized social media. There's all kinds of things that are emerging around use cases in crypto. And so we want policymakers to come together to talk about that, to get the word out. And also to sh see the, the number of Americans that are actually using this technology now so that a very message can be, a very important message can be delivered that, you know, being anti-crypto is political suicide in this political environment. Okay. So it's all there, guys. It's all in the politics. Now, remember before it was just, it was just, it was money laundering. It was, it was rat poisoning. And now it's the biggest thing ever guys it's the biggest thing ever okay so here's exactly what i'm doing from my paradigm and i repeat this on the back end of every video and again um the free book that you can download shares with you my diversification strategy it just breaks down my principles uh, my foundation which is mindset right my 120 day challenge understanding your foundation of god jesus christ Whatever you believe in, it's important to have principles, morals, ethics, and from there you build because what's more important than becoming a millionaire is who you become in that process. Let me repeat that. What's more important than you becoming a millionaire is who you become in that process because my CFO says it's the best. If you make $30,000 and you have bad spending habits, a million dollars in crypto isn't going to change that. You're going to have horrible spending habits and a lot more bills than a million dollars so it's about rewiring the foundation creating financial literacy financial discipline as you get to that large amount of wealth and then you'll have a great foundation that goes from generation to generation so what i'm doing currently is i'm holding 50 percent of my portfolio long term so we'll leave that on the table right now i'm exiting 50 percent anything that's in long-term capital gains the only thing that's not in long term right now would be my bitcoin because i started accumulating last year the mid this year it'll be uh, mid this year, and I bought some in January. So mid this year, it'll be in long term, but all my things short term, all my long term capital gain cryptocurrencies, I'll be exiting based on exit targets. That's why we created Merlin. You can download it 30 days for free. Okay, it's absolutely free. You can download it to set up your exit plan. And then if you choose to keep it, and if you don't choose to do our relationship, you can cancel right there on the app. Okay, we have customer service to show you how to set up an exit plan. The exit plan basically is laddering on the way up so that you get profits. Number one, I always pull my initial investment. Okay. Then I'm on house money. Then I pull the house money as it goes up because everybody's flooding in and think about when the Bitcoin halving happens, 
all the news is going to be talking about it. So everybody's going to want, it's called FOMO, fear of missing out. Everybody's going to FOMO in and that makes the price go up, right? Demand. And so as people, demand's coming in, I'm selling people my crypto as they're coming in, right? So as I'm exiting, for me personally, I use Index Universal Life. I max fund my index. I'm max funding all my index. <laughs> I'm max funding my index universal life policies from there. The reason why I like that is it secures my principal. I have a guaranteed principal, uh, zero principal. I can't lose my principal. It's insured. I get market like returns anywhere from six to 12%, excuse me. And then I can borrow against the cash value if it's properly funded and set up from there. I borrow tax free to buy more assets, whether it's businesses, more businesses. Um, I'm going to be getting into real estate, uh, precious metals, buying back into crypto when it dips back down. It's just a simple process. So for me, I'm moving things from the left side of the risk pyramid, higher risk, higher return, pulling profits from that, taking it down to the bottom of the risk pyramid, which is insurance. Um, I saw how much insurance banks hold. I saw how much insurance wealthy people hold. And so I just started copying the patterns in 2020. And it's it's done really well for me. Uh, business is one of my greatest ways to wealth. Um, I believe entrepreneurship is one of the fastest ways to wealth. Uh, you can beat inflation. So really aligning with something you really love to do, solving a huge problem for humanity. That's what all things, anything I talk about here, companies is all I'm the co-founder or creator of those companies, uh, which I believe is very important. And I think it's important on, for authenticity as well, because not one company I talk about, or I've never been paid by a crypto company ever to promote a crypto ever, which is I'm very proud to say that we've created our own stuff, our own ecosystems to help people succeed. That's our main goal. And that's what entrepreneurship is. You know, you can go and make money and by selling things, but the true way to wealth is to solve problems for humanity and be in alignment with who you truly are. So I hope this information helps. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And as we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go.